Hello you guys, it's the headphone addict.com and today I am doing a tutorial slash unboxing of the Vielectric V200 and um, HBA V100 DAC card installation. So this is a digital to analog converter card which is basically installed into the Vielectric V200 or the HBA V100. So let's get right to it. Let's open up the box. I uh, purchased this from a uh, fellow head fire and uh, it's uh, pretty basic. You have the DAC card here and uh, you have a set of uh, instructions here and you have some screws which screws in. So basically this is uh, the manual, pretty basic uh, color printed paper and uh, this is the optical 2496 card. You also get a USB card. So let's get into this. So, so this is the card that I aim to install and uh, it's basically just a uh, SP diff through coaxial input and uh, not really much to it really. So let's uh, open up the V200 and uh, install this thing. So you basically just have to unscrew the front plate. And really carefully we flip this around. There we go, and now we just take this puppy open. So, there we go. This is the inside, so uh, the chassis works like a heat sink. And uh, as you can see here, these are the internals. neat design and the DAC card basically goes here and you can see that there are already brackets for it here here and here so it screws on and then you basically just want to remove these two jumpers and uh, if I had a nail it would be 10 times as easy. There you go, that's one. And I need to, f I need to get a girlfriend. Ah, there we go. And then we basically have to remove this cover and these small metal prongs have to go away so you can remove the um, rear cover and uh, they were kind of tricky actually and uh, I ended up using a small screwdriver <coughs> to sink in behind the metal prong and just pulling up and uh, then eventually you get a gap between the metal prong and the uh, there.
Okay, so now what you want to do is to take the deck card and you want to basically unplug the plug here and you want to install this into the motherboard of the amplifier. Then you'll just take this card and slide it into place like that and uh, this is not really very enjoyable because this thing is almost seems to be a little bit a little bit too short like this so it's a very tight fit but you'll get there eventually then you basically just have to hit the threads and there you go and there we basically have all three screws into place this um this uh, card does not currently have screws for the rear panel so there's only three out of four screws used and uh, now we basically uh, reassemble the thing okay so it's time to reassemble the top plate and uh, we basically just push this a little forward and put this thing neatly back into place like that push it backwards and push this one in again and there we go so not much to it really okay so there you go we have our digital input installed and the way this works is by priority so firstly the digital input has first priority then the unbalanced rca inputs have second priority and thirdly the xlr inputs have third priority so if you're running a digital source and you're feeding signal through the digital input that will obviously have first priority and uh, even though you have uh, a signal coming into these or those you're still going to get the um, digital signal and uh, so if you want to use it with uh, the XLRs you just stop sending a signal into this input so that's basically it really and next up is my review of the V200 DAC card and uh, I'm going to compare it towards the Lavery DA11 digital to analog converter so that's all guys. Thank you for watching my tutorial. See you later.